I believe about 25% of the population identifies itself as being Franco-American. It's just so much of who I am and who my family is. I just think it's important to learn about your culture and your history. It's important because it's who we are. It's where we come from. I didn't speak English much till I was five. It's just part of who I am. We have a shared uh, DNA. It's that pursues my roots. Our children need to know our, where we come from and what we've contributed. We have uh, a shared culture, a shared language. What I found so far during this conference, which is extremely educational, is the impact, the social impact, the cultural impact, and the economic impact that the French Canadians had on New England and specifically on Vermont. We have uh, today a shared vision about uh, our economy. Our economic future is dire and part of having a very robust economic future is embracing new cultures and diversity. I don't belong to France, but I belong to the French culture. There are many things that we can do together right. to improve our lives on both sides of the border. Right. It could affect, potentially, uh, foreign businesses entering the U.S., or Canadian businesses, or individuals entering uh, the U.S. for work, or for st to study, you know, to come here at UVM. It's just, it's just who we are, you know, and I think the most important part is uh, to not lose that.